Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to mod Sons of the Forest with the mods that I use, especially in Season 2 of my playthrough. It is extremely easy to do. First, open up your browser and search Sons of the Forest mods, or just click the link in the description of this video. Once you do that, you'll find a few websites that say mods, like Nexus Mod Manager and that. But though you want to go to the one that's SOTF-mods.com. Open that one, and it should look like this, so you know you're in the right spot. Next, you go to the top and it should say Red Loader. This has constantly been updated, so it may change. Click on Red Loader, click on Installer. And you see Mod Manager here, click that. Now, just so you know, you're downloading an EXE file. I'm gonna go out and put my reputation on the line and say it is safe. I've used it many times. It's made by Tony Macaroni, I've mentioned him a few times. I do trust the guy. Know that whenever you download an EXE file, you're always taking a risk. And especially with Edge right now, it is actually blocking it because Edge is always going to leak breast milk over any EXE file. GitHub is usually quite safe though because it is actually owned by Microsoft, I believe. I think they'll do their own checks, but you've got to do your own checks too. If you've got Windows Defender, it's going to run a check on this file as soon as you download it anyway. You've got to click on Keep, then it will download. It's a very small file. Open File. And then you get this little box that pops up. Move it to the middle like this, nice and cozy. And then you just click this button here. This is all new, by the way. This is why I've waited to do a tutorial, to wait till Tony Macaroni had it all fleshed out. And that's done, it's installed now. So now you can start adding mods. And the easiest way to do that is click mods. And here you go, make it bigger. Actually, it doesn't scale that way. Search needs work, it doesn't search for authors. And you can view on site. The website does give more details, I believe. Maybe. If you want more help with these mods, you're probably better off joining the Discord here on the website. That is for the Reddit Discord. And then you scroll through the mods that you want and you just click install when you find one. For example, this is one I tend to like to use. It's a very high tech one though. You just click install and it's done. So you can look for the author as a means to the type of mods you're gonna expect. I get along well with Tony Macaroni because his ideals are kind of similar to mine. He wants quality of life. He doesn't like overpowered mods. This is actually, I'd find overpowered. Enemy tracker. Though it could be useful if you're into sort of studying the game, which I have done before in the forest. But this is a big one, this one. This is the zippy mod. This shows a percentage or meterage, you can change it, of how much longer you've got to go with your zipline gun before it breaks. So I highly recommend this one. I can't give too much advice on a lot of these mods because I just haven't used them. Some of them are quite funny, like uh, Mines of the Forest, you get the pickaxe and that. Drop items to friends. I did actually ask N Knight why you can't do this, and it's to stop duplication, because they know that it's going to make the game way much easier. You just join the game, give all your items to your friend, quit without saving, reload, and all your items are going to come back. They are working on a solution to this. Binocular Zoom, that would be a pretty good mod. Whatever this is... And the gyrocopter, this actually looks pretty cool. I should do a video on it. It's probably a bit overpowered though. Now I'm gonna show you a few things, but you should stick around because I'm gonna give you some advice you're probably really gonna need or want or whatever. Or you could just tell me to shut up and close the video. It's got extra stuff like here, Unity Explorer. If you want to look more into the game and actually mod it, you're gonna need that, I think. I don't know enough about it to comment. And modding as well, that's for modders. So you're only gonna need this because i think this will update it and this will install your mods so once that's done once you've installed everything you can start it up which i actually recommend you do because it's going to install all the files and that sort of stuff it's going to take a long time for the first time it starts up because it's running its own script and stuff but after that it starts fast the next time this is the thing i'm talking about up in the corner this will take a while but once it's done it's fast and one of the first things you notice that it did is it skips the intro so that is an option you can turn that back on if you want and it gives you the mods menu here. And this is gonna change quite frequently, all the stuff here. Before I go into the mods, here's what I wanted to show you. So go into Steam, right click on Sons of the Forest, go to Properties, go to Installed Files, and click on Browse. This will open up the game directory. I recommend coming in through this way because if you've got multiple drives and multiple games on different ones, it's just easy to find it this way. And in here, you're gonna find the game's folders and the mods are in here. Though I want you to go to this one, this is where there's going to be things that you can't change within the game sometimes, depending on who made the mod. For example, I'm going to go to Red Loader. You can change these things in game, but there's a few things that you can't change in game. But this is one that you're going to really probably want to change. If you use F12 to take screenshots, which I think most people do in Steam, you're going to want to change this. Otherwise, the game 
freaks out. I tried talking to Tony about this, but he's on vacation at the moment. So it might have changed by now. If it hasn't, I recommend changing it to F11 because then you won't get any conflicts unless you've got some software that uses F11. So you're going to save that. I forgot that notepad's changed, doesn't close. There we go. And then after doing that, I'm going to go back in the game and show you some stuff. So the zippy mod, that's the thing. I'm going to change it to percentage. You got this one. These are all advanced, a lot of this. And in here, you've got things like skipping the build animations and no consumption animations. I actually don't mind this one. It's the building animations that I have an issue with. Because this you experience about six times a day, maybe. This you experience a lot more. This doesn't work currently. So here's a few things the mod does. You no longer have to type in cheat stick. You can just press F1 and start typing in console commands. It does add a couple of new console commands. I know one of that I use all the time. You just type in X and it's X free cam and it makes you invisible and you fly around. It's much better than the free camera and that sort of stuff because this actually makes the player fly around. This is very useful. There's settings for that one in that config file I showed you. But as mentioned, there's no building animations now, so everything's instant. A lot of people want this one. I really did. I've actually gotten so used to it, so <laughs> there's no cheat with it. It does make building a little bit easier because some of the animations actually pull you out of place. For example, this one will pull you towards it, but because there's no animation, it doesn't pull you towards it anymore. The no auto equip stones button was supposed to turn off this. You pick this up accidentally and yeah, it's supposed to not do that. But yes, there's the zipline gun with the mod on it. Now it's got the percentage sign on it. None of these mods have broken the game for me. Oh, and that red effect one. Let's just press F10 and you can change a whole bunch of stuff in here. There's no reset for each individual option, but you can reset it. Yeah. But the ocean fog to make clear water, that one's there. Turning off the grass, make it easy to see animals. There's a lot of options here. But if you do get your hands on, say you want the sensor mod, if you open it up, you kind of figure out what's actually going on. You see mods, mods. So I'll just drag that into there. And that's how you manually add the mod. So that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. There's things like Thunderstorm and Nexus, but I don't know if they're actually being worked on still. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.